To find the missing value in the proportion, you can use the cross product method or cross multiplication. So I have here 2 over 5 is equal to 4 over x. So cross multiply, 2 times x is equal to 2x, and then 5 times 4 is equal to 20. To solve for x, you need to divide both sides by 2. So x is equal to 20 divided by 2 is equal to 10. Now, if you want to know that your answer is correct, you can check by replacing the value of x here, which, which is equal to 10. So 2 over 5 is equal to 4 over 10. Then cross multiply, 2 times 10 that is equal to 20, and 5 times 4 is equal to 20. So they are equal, so therefore the value of x is correct. Now look at number 2. So 1 half over 6 is equal to 3 fourths over x. Or you can say 1 half divided by 6 is equal to 3 fourths divided by x. You need to be careful with the division sign. Uh, always uh, longer than this one in the line in the fraction. So now again, by cross product method or cross multiplication, so 1 half times x is equal to 6 times 3 over 4. So copy first 1 half x, and then you can perform this. So 6 times 3 is equal to 18 divided by 4. Now, this is fraction as the numerical coefficient of x. So to get rid of this, you can multiply 1 half by its reciprocal, 2 over 1. Also multiply here on the other side, 2 over 1. So you can get rid of this. So what you have now is x is equal to 18 times 2 is equal to 36 divided by 4, which is 4 times 1, which is equal to 9. So x is equal to 9. Or you can also simplify here like 2 and 4 by 2, this is 1, by 2, this is 2. So 18 divided by 2 is equal to 9. Now what about number 3? By cross multiplication, we have 4 times 2x minus 3 is equal to 2 times x plus 3. So now you need to use distributive property first. 4 times 2x, that is 8x, and 4 times negative 3, that is equal to negative 12. Here also, distributive property equal to 2x, and then 2 times 3, that is equal to 6. So now, you need to isolate x. So we can move this on the other side of the equation. So 8x minus 2x. This is positive. This is just the shortcut of addition. Okay? Transposition method. 6, then you need to move this to the other side. becomes positive 12. Let's continue it here. 8x minus 2x is equal to 6x is equal to 6 plus 12 is equal to 18. Dividing both sides by 6, x is equal to 3. That's it.